Hey, this CFO Guapo checking in, man, and I just jumped off the porch with Dirty Glove Bass Gang. All right, we got CFO Guapo off the porch with us today. Since Paul Baby checking in live in the fit, what's going on? I'm feeling well, man. How you feeling today? I'm good. I'm all right. I'm living life, you know. That's what's up, man. What are you working on here in Atlanta for this trip? We came down there, ho. We worked on some music and shit. Me and my partner, T-Rex. We worked on some music last night. We made In That Order. We did a track In That Order, and we did some more hot shit. We got a whole lot of shit in the works. Okay. So, you know. How does working down here compare to back at home? It's not really a difference. Motherfuckers don't hate as much, you know. Hmm. People be on that bullshit. You can't trust nobody, can't fuck with nobody. And most of everybody hate. But down here, it's like they see you in motion. They want to help you build. They want to fuck with you. They want to see what you got going on. Yeah. All right, so let's take it back, man. Born in Birmingham. What was your childhood like in Alabama? It was straight. It wasn't, it rigged. It rigged. Not just Birmingham, I'm from Central Park to be exact, so it rigged from where I'm from, you know? But it's like, my life growing up, it wasn't too bad, but it wasn't too good either. You feel me? Yeah. So different aspects on shit. Yeah. And your mother actually put you in foster care, right? Yeah. And then your grandma came and got yeah. you? She came and got me, I was like, two. Two. About two years old. Okay. Yeah. But I still fuck my mom. I love my mama did me. Yeah. I'm a baby. Hmm. Yeah. All right. So how old were you when you first jumped off the porch? So about 13, 14. Yeah. About 13, 14. Then by the time I hit about 14, 15, I was real heavy in the streets. But I ain't really want my folks to know that. Cause they be get all in the nigga mix and shit. So I'm like, I'm gonna be low key and do me. But then I started not to give a fuck. About 17, I ain't give a fuck. Hmm. The money here I needed, let's do it, you know? Yeah, you got in some trouble and went to uh, juvenile boot camp? Yeah. How old were you then? About 16. Okay. 16. Yeah. Did you have any big homies or OGs out there to kind of help you? Not for real, yo. I had a couple. My, my cousin, really, my OG, my big homie, my cousin Robert, my cousin Real, cousin Pee Wee, my folks, Wizard, all of them, they're my folks, family. They're my big homie. Okay. And when did you move to Georgia? I moved to Georgia like. I moved down here with my daddy like. Oh, 2009, 2008, but I had already lived here before, and I had moved back with my granny, and I came back with my pops. Okay. Because <coughs> I got kicked out of school and shit in Birmingham. I got hmm. kicked out of Parga, so I had to come back up this way. Where'd you live at in Georgia? Southside. Okay, so here in Atlanta. Southside, yeah. Okay. Southside. So what'd you think of Atlanta compared to Birmingham? They both rigged. They both rigged. Feel me? So I ain't got too much to say on that because they both rigged and they both gonna do you. You know? So we can't say too much about that. Yeah. Uh, what college did you go to? I went to Tuscany. I was at Tuscany and shit, man. I was playing football and shit. And they got caught leaving campus and shit, leaving practice. Student aid all in my room. Found the weed and shit, found the peas and shit. When they told them, the dean, dean kicked me out. Oh shit. You feel me, so. What position were you playing in football? Free safety and defensive end. It's a tall free safety. Yeah. Long, <laughs> long. I used to lay their ass out too, for real. <laughs> yeah, cause he's 6'6", six, six, right? Yeah. How good were you at football? I was good enough to get offers. Yeah. But like I said, you can't you can't be in the streets and wanna 
do other shit at the same time. It don't work like that. You got to make a choice. You feel me? So. So you get kicked out of college. Where'd you go to next? To Virginia, my old lady. Hmm. What part of Virginia? Brisbane. Brisbane, Virginia. All right. A little small town. Yeah. But my nigga, we get money. You feel me? We get money though. You ain't gonna be tripping on nothing. <laughs> so you still up there today? Yeah, I'm up there right now. Okay. Yeah. So what's there to do in uh, Bristol and uh, Virginia? Get the bag. That's it. Don't come down there thinking you're going to um, have an escapade or some shit because it don't go like that. You can go to Gatlinburg or some shit. Hmm. But yeah. You come down there, you need to be getting you some money because that's what everybody else doing. Yeah. Uh, talk to us about this video on your IG page of you knocking somebody out recently. Oh, yeah, man. Went to the club with my boys and shit, my dog T-Rex. A dog Duke. Motherfucker talking all crazy, talking all loud and shit. I ain't really for all that talking and shit. So goddamn, bubba running his mouth. I just punched him in his mouth. You feel me? If you gonna pop shit, the sleep you go. Cause I ain't got time to play with you or none of that. Like we ain't gonna do none of that. I ain't finna look over my back or nothing. I'm gonna get you first. You feel me? I ain't gonna play like that. Is that up there in Virginia? Yeah. Okay. That was in John City, what? Hmm. And if you want smoke, you can get that. For real. But I ain't heard enough from him last time. I heard from him. He was in the hospital. I hope he get better. That's shit. You know? Hmm. All right. So how long you been making music now? Send out. What you mean? Like for real, for real? Not just when he first started. Uh, out. Out 2011. Okay. I was winning now. Then I really took it serious about 2014. When I came home, I said, man, fuck it. Everybody else doing it. Let me hop on, see what I can do. Yeah. Who are some of your musical influences? Future. I fuck with Future. I like classic shit too. I like old school shit too. Like Al Green, shit like that. Um, let's see, Bone Thugs and Harmony, um, UGK, Pimp C, Lil Boosie, um, Project Pat. I fought with the baby. Um, I fought with Roddy, T Rex. My nigga, he the GOAT, you feel me? Fuck with him. Um, my brother, feel like he the GOAT too, he hard. It's a couple motherfuckers, man. I fuck with, um, who hot right now? I fuck with Pooh Shiesty too. Okay, yeah, he's going up. <sighs> Bro, nasty, we gotta get one in, he coming though. So what does the CFO in your name stand for? Crazy finesse on Guapo. Cause when I get to speeding that shit, that shit be so flowing and so out the wall, it's so crazy and full of finesse. And it's so on me that once you hit the shit, you just like, whoa, slow down now. You feel me? It'll take you fast, it might take your whole two. You feel me? Do you always go by that name? Yeah, since I started. Yeah. I started. What feel what do you feel like separates you from other artists after today? I just be me, man. I'm organic. I can do any I can I can do all types of music. I'm all genres. I ain't just no trap rap, none of that. Whatever you wanna hear, I can do that. Most of the artists can't do that. They can just do on the oh trap rap, boom, pot scales, all it and all. You gotta talk to your host sometime. You feel me? They can't do that. I can't. Yeah. So they're separated. What's your creative process like these? He's days? laughing and shit like shit funny. And I don't think it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your creative process like these days? Are you writing or are you kind of just freestyle and punch him in? All right. I've been writing. 
punching in. Um, I can really do whatever, man. We can do it whatever way you want to do it. Whatever. Uh, talk to us about the music scene up in Virginia right now. It's straight. It's straight. Most of the niggas be hating. Most of them be hating on me right now because we flaking the city up. We running the city. Ain't nobody hotter than us. You feel me? So it's like, we gonna try to step on these nigga campaign to keep that shit from moving. But we too swill. And we ain't from there. All of us from different areas, we ain't from there. We just came down there. You feel me? So it's like, some hate. And some, most of my fans, they show love. I love my fan dearly. They show major love. But then you got the other artists that's hating. You mm -hmm. feel me? And that's the shit when, rather than hating with a motherfucker, you might well latch on to it, man, and build with this man. Get some money with this man. Hop on the track with this man. If you believe this man got talent, pay that man. You feel me? They ain't having money like that. So, on it. Where do you think that hate comes from? Is it from the streets? Is it just envy? I'm going to keep the rap, which is probably on fucking on one of they hoes, knocking their ass out. You feel me? Shit like that. Probably them rob them. Don't think this shit's sweet because it ain't. You feel me? Are there any clubs up there where you stay at? Yeah, there's a club. There's some clubs up there where they got Capone. They got bars and shit like that. Not, nothing too, man. You got to get out to like Virginia Beach and shit like that. Okay. How far are you from Virginia Beach? Oh, uh, say about seven hours. Oh shit, <laughs> that's pretty far. Hours. Yeah, that's far. Yeah. And like, oh, we down. Type shit. Yeah. What about studios back at home? Are there any nice studios or mostly at home studios? Yeah, I'll be fucking with my boy Matt. He the truth. I be fucking with him. I go to him all the time. Audio Ace. The way you get that sound. Um, that's about it. Yeah. Audio Aces. I just went to um the studio down here. I forgot the name, but bro, he got that sound too. Yeah. But I like to stick with one sound. You feel me? If I'm working, if I'm collaborating, if I got this engineer and he can, he know my sound, I rather stick with him. I don't want to hang with all this switching up shit, you know? Mm -hmm. so. All right, talk to us about your new single, Lift Kit. Oh, Lift Kit. That motherfucker going crazy. When I tell y'all, man, make sure y'all go listen to that Lift Kit. That's the hottest shit on the streets. Y'all just don't know it yet. I'm telling you. We really doing numbers on that hoe. We already like 4K, 4A type shit. So we doing like a thousand views a day. Really going crazy. It's the hottest shit out. I'm telling you. Ain't, I don't see nothing hotter than that. They, now, now, niggas can say what they want by any means, and I commend you for that, but you ain't fucking with that. So, y'all just go get that little kid out everywhere on all platforms. Follow me on IG, too, at 1CFO underscore Guapo. Follow me on IG, again, at 1CFO underscore Guapo. What are you rapping about on Lift Kit? Man, we talking about talking about flicking hole, stacking money, jewelry shining, gold. Then we talking about the slime shit, and I ain't banging slime at all. We talking about wiping your nose for real, real robbers, being these, all this shit, whatever you, whatever. In that second verse, that second verse, we get down, we get down to being these real rugged in that second verse. Who produced that single? Um, my boy Danye. My boy Danye. Track my all yay. Track my all yay. At track my all yay on Instagram. All right, talk to us about this other single you got out, uh, Space Vibes. Oh, yeah, Space Vibes. I just dropped this shit, and that shit for the ladies. Mm -hmm. And I've been getting good feedback on this Space Vibes shit. They fuck with that. It's like, Basically talking about your bitch and how she ride for you and shit. Whenever you need her, you call her, she pull up. Take you, go get the load, bring the load back sometime, go get it herself type shit, you know? 
real player shit. That's why the female vibe to it, because it's real, sincere shit. Yeah. Plan to shoot a video for that one? Yeah. Okay. I plan on shooting a video for that when it comes to some. Y'all just wait on that. Okay. Um, talk to us about your latest project, Critical Mass. Critical Mass, man, man. I wrote this shit. I wrote this shit on the rack because I just got out. I only been out like six months. Didn't make six months right here. I mm-hmm. wrote that whole album on the rack. In the cell, four by four cell. Two people to a cell type shit on the rack. I wrote that whole thing and lock up. And it go crazy from one to 10. All of them go crazy from the top to the bottom. I took some time. I put my time into it. I ain't had nothing but time, so I put my time into it. I feel like it slept on, but once y'all catch on to it, then y'all will be like, okay, you feel me? Okay, I see what he's saying. How long were you locked up for? The last time, it was a year. Hmm. Uh, time for that, about two and a half. Man, we can. We can, we can keep going and we ain't even gonna do that. See, no, that's how I be feeling, man. I could have been, I could have been up doing this shit, bro, but it's like, I'm in the street for real and most of these niggas not. I came down here for the interview and I got caught tomorrow. Oh, shit. Sure. In the morning. So when we leave here, we back on the interstate. You see what I'm saying? It's that deep. But I gotta make it happen though, cause I ain't playing no more. Do you find it hard to kind of stand out in an industry that kind of uh, rewards the, those cloud chases and people who don't keep it real like that? Uh, no, nah. because a real one always gonna stand out. You can say what you want about a nigga, but motherfuckers since they really gonna stand out. Why wouldn't it? You can't stop it. You feel me? So I'm like, I'm gonna stand out regardless. And I'm like six feet tall, you can't miss me anyway. And when I drill, I'm gonna drill right so you know what's going on. Yeah. You working on a new project now? Yeah. I ain't, I ain't even came up with a name for it yet, but I got like, I'm like six tracks in. It's still in the works. It's coming, it's coming through good. Yeah. I just wanna get a get that buzz up a little bit more before I drop that. Cause I'm on the catch on to that old shit I got. Who are some of the producers you've been working with on this new music? Um, Josh Kelly, Danye, Timothy Two Times. Them are the only three I've been fucking with right now. Danye, Timothy Two Times, and Josh Kelly. Okay. They all from back home? Yeah. Okay. All right. So what has being a father taught you about life? Being consistent and always being there when you need them, which I ain't been there as much as I should have been because I made some mistakes, but the mistakes I made was for them. So, you know, I ain't never tripping by the mistakes I made because it was for them from the start, you feel me? But just being consistent and love, true love. With your kids, it's a whole different vibe. You don't get, you get a whole different vibe with your kids than what you get with. Another nigga out in the street, cause these niggas ain't shit. They really bitches. They really, they they really want to play up under you anyway. That's what I tell my little boy. They want to play up under you anyway. Keep your own street low. Move your own way. Yep. That's about it. All right, Guapa. Before we get you out of here, just want to ask you your thoughts on George Floyd and the protests that are going on. Black Lives Matter, man. No, no, no matter what. No matter what, Shay, I don't care if it's a light bright. Black lives matter. They matter. All lives matter too, though. Like, my kids in a racial. My kids mix. We gonna go on here and let that be known right now. And I don't want, I don't want law enforcement approaching my kids like that. Cause I'm gonna go crazy about that. I'd rather lay down, I'll lay down for life before they lay down the day. You see what I'm saying? So it's just like, we really need to hop up off of that and move on to something. Let, let build something, man. Unity. Let bring this shit together. Let make something happen. That's how I feel. But it's going to take time. Real shit. I got the new project in the works. What else you got coming up? Man, we just, 
we just living life, man. We going to Cali next week. I don't know what we gonna do there. We gonna get in, definitely get in the studio. I'm working. Um, shit, then we gonna double back. We gonna come back here. We gonna do some more work. Then me and my boy T-Ray, we gonna drop that in that order. I'm gonna shoot a video for that. And we just gonna go crazy. 2020, we just gonna go crazy. Bunks. And can't nobody stop it. Cause we just gonna go. Feel me. All right. Any last words or shout outs before we get you at it? Yeah, shout out to my old lady. I love you, baby. Uh, shout out to my brother, white boy. Shout out to Duke. Shout out to the gang. Shout out to my mama, my sister. The whole fam, man. Number love. Shout out to my daddy. All this shit we going up this year. I got y'all on gang. Yeah, and she fell in love with the D.